Today, I get to hang out with iconic fashion designer B. Michael. We're gonna make some food, we're gonna talk some things. Let's go. Michelle, hello. Good to hello. See you. you have a new project. I have a new project. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Before we get into this, I you told me that you're going to cook for me. Like yes, today. I am going to prepare a salad for you, and then we'll sit down and book talk and eat salad. How's that? It's not every day you get to eat salad with B. Michael. Not so every I'm day that B. Michael excited. prepares a salad. <laughs> My idea of cooking is a salad, so <laughs> I tend to just, you know, go to the things that I. This is cooking. This is cooking. This is cooking. It's within my reach. So tell me about how you even met Cicely. In 2005, I received a phone call. I'm here with Cicely Tyson. She would like to know if you would dress her for upcoming Oprah Winfrey's Legends Ball. And so I said, of course. <laughs> well, then she's on her way. And 30 minutes later, Michelle, she's at my door. No way. We could not have known, the two of us, when we met at that moment, that we would have this journey together. But it was definitely divine. Yeah, I mean, you, and then, I mean, she's obviously your muse. She is Hollywood royalty. Absolutely. And so my, my, you know, thought was then let's glamorize that. She definitely trusted you, but was there ever a point at which she was like, you know what, B, I don't want to wear that. There's no dress I presented that she was ever afraid of. Except. Except, oh, there is an except. There is an except. <laughs> the morning we're in Detroit getting ready to attend Aretha Franklin's funeral. And then I take out a hat that's as wide as this table. And Cicely said, oh, I can't wear that hat. The people behind me will complain. They can't see. <laughs> Press would ask her about it. And she would say, it's the first time in my career I've been upstage by a hat. And it's the only time she gave me pushback. Now, one of my favorite moments for you and Cicely are the Oscars 2018. She was the first black American to receive an honorary Oscar. And I was the first black American fashion designer to actually dress an Oscar recipient. As I worked on the book and had a chance to really just live through the whole thing all over again, which was also very cathartic, you know, you recognize the history that you made and how you really have made a difference. How does it feel for you to kind of be this iconic person in fashion history and being a black man who is iconic in fashion history. I sometimes pinch myself because I don't think of myself as iconic. You don't think of yourself as well, iconic? I, you know what, I actually <laughs> feel like I'm just starting. But the idea is intention, that I have to also pursue what it is that I am doing as a black American couturier fashion designer. But I must do it with intention and understanding that I represent possibilities. Where can people get your book? So the book can be purchased wherever books are sold. Thank you. Thank Cheers you. again. Cheers. Let's eat. Let's eat.